Welcome tankers, this is McLovo, back with a replay in my M41B, the Brazilian Bulldog. A really an old relic out of the old times of plus two light matchmaking. And yeah, this tank is out of meta basically. Uh, it has a low HP pool of only 975 HP. Uh, DPM is pretty high with 2280 DPM with premium rounds with the heat rounds and uh, with the standard hip rounds, which is basically uh, the same as the British Hesh, uh, it would have 3000 um, DPM, which would be nice, but you only have 102 pen, and it's basically hard to, to get that to work. So that's why I also load that 2828, um, as you really use the, the heat rounds on this tank. Um, this matchmaking with it being top tier is very good because now it can use the, the head rounds and we will show you in this replay that you can actually work with it and get a, a nice amount of damage. Um, the goal is to, to get tanks from the side, to hit them where uh, they're weak and to pen the, the head. And that's how you can actually also use the DPM that is really okay with, with the head. Um, also, gun stats wise, the tank is actually not anymore uh, that great as other tier, tier 8 light tanks also have that really good gun handling. Um, but it's, it's still okay. Um, the tank doesn't do well in tier 10 games or tier 9, uh, 8 games, even with, with heavy armor tanks, because um, a lot of tanks have got spaced armor and both heat and hip don't work against spaced armor, basically. I'm just keeping the, the, the middle kind of lit up, try to, to get some shots in and, and just roll up with the damage. Um, our team spreads pretty much, so I'll just stay here, see what I can spot and always ready to drop down again. Uh, Black Prince could be penetrated if you would get side on, but you cannot always choose how to, to approach your enemy, so... We'll just check if we can shoot anything else. The Chroma would, for example, be a very good target, as um, the 102 pen can easily take get to the dice. And as you can see here, a nice roll, if you can hit the tank from the sides, and not the tracks, then, yeah, you really get a nice roll. And the bad chat only hits the tracks. Um, what also, uh, what uh, pretty much an issue is with the tank is it has no armor and it's pretty large for a as any bulldog. And um, high tier shells often set it on fire. Even if so, it only has a 12% fire chance. It basically burns every now and then. And uh, yeah, but against low tier tanks, it's disgusting to be honest just the rate of fire and with the hip but you have to aim the shells auto fire doesn't work that good uh, it's yeah maybe the also as it should be uh, as auto aim would be op if it would be work too good so um i'll try to get shots on this tank try to track it maybe the hip works really good for for tracking tanks as also he does, and uh, we try to penetrate the side of the turret, but now we go for the side cheeks, and there's a penetration. If if tanks are standing still and you can really try to, to snipe the, the parts that can be penetrated, then you can really rack up some damage. And the camera rating is pretty good in this tank. Oh, here he shows us it at the back, but we don't hit the, the shot to penetrate. And somebody sets him on fire. That's still a kind of a fun tank to play. It's not meta anymore. Um, the, let's say the, the German Bulldog is stronger with uh, standard um, AP rounds plus heat as a premium round and more HP. Uh, basically, it's just an all, all around better tank. But I still love this tank as it's for me one of the, the best looking tanks. And we can penetrate this night, this uh, light tank. Um, I try not to hit the tracks, so not to go for the tracks, and also wait if the tank turns, you know, just to get that nice shot in. As this is really 
it ramps up the damage. And it, even for a light, this seems to have a very bad uh, view range. 320 meters. Yeah. Don't think he just played as a, as a light, more or less more a tank to go and harass people and to go shoot people. And we also have a disgusting good crew with about 16 perks on this, so that also helps, of course. But as I say, it's, um, the ammo has its limits, and I've already fired almost all of my uh, hep shells uh, for uh, almost 3,200 damage. If you would also, uh, if the game would be finished, it would be a nice game, but there's still more hit points, uh, hit points on the field to to abuse or <laughs> to farm. Um, medium tanks are a very good source for health points, as most of them aren't that armored. Um, and what is really bad are the uh, tier 6 tanks like Absolution or the, the VK that Wargame has introduced. Spaced armor is, is just bad, you won't you know, pen it and you just do minimum, minimum damage. While fast firing tanks will set this tank very fast on fire. And, uh, and also here I did aim the shots just to be sure to, to hit it, not auto aim. And again, a nice roll, not not super high, but uh, not a nice roll actually, yeah. a low roll. Uh, now we also only have heat shells left. Um, the good thing, the heat shells aren't expensive, so uh, it is premium rounds, but yeah, as they are not really good, uh, it's also good that they are not too expensive. So you can basically still go out with a plus by only firing heat shells if you need to. Um, but good luck with that, versus Russian tanks or spaced armored tanks, as said. But still a really nice game, and we're rushing in to um, help this guy um, place some shots into the Scorpion. Oh, <laughs> a VK doesn't look that good anymore. And um, here we just go straight for the Scorpion. Um, this the Brazilian Bulldog is very, a very um, mobile tank. It can turn on a dime, basically. Get the shot in, just turn around him. And easy. Take him off the board. And finish the game with a nice um, damage. Um, as said, it's, it's a fun tank to take out now and then, but uh, it is definitely out of the meta and would be maybe nice to, to give it some love, maybe a HP upgrade just to make it a little bit more easy to play because you basically um, you're very very fa uh, dead very fast in, in tier 9 and tier 10 games. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it uh, stay safe, take care, have a nice day thank you, bye bye